Thanks, guys. Okay, Tree. That's okay. We started a minute early. Okay, Teresa. Mike, home opener, a lot of emotions on Sunday, uh, but also a big opportunity. Uh, haven't beaten the Colts, this franchise, uh, but twice in the last 15 games. What's the key in trying to, you know, take advantage of a change of quarterback and, and try to change the series? Well, those those are a lot of things that really um, – that we're not focused on. We're focused on this. This is a good football team. This is a well-coached football team. It's a physical football team that we're playing. Um, they were physical with whatever quarterback they, they've had in the game. You know, they go on the road against a very good Charger team. Uh, they commit only three penalties for 10 yards. Uh, they get two turnovers. They don't turn the ball over at all. They run for 203 yards. Uh, the quarterback 78% um, completion percentage. Uh, they just lost to a Hall of Fame quarterback. Uh, in overtime, and so, you know that that's the message to the football team. And this is a this is a physical group um, on both sides of the ball. From your perspective, is momentum something? That, can you carry that over from last week to this week? Um, I think you build momentum throughout the week. I think it starts over. You have to have really good practices. You have to have good meetings um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and clean up the things you need to clean up on Saturday, and, and try to get some rest. Uh, and, and be ready to play. We get one crack at this, and so um, you, know, you build momentum through the week. What's the biggest difference in skill set between Brissett and Luck? Uh, all I know is that Jacoby um, has got a really good grasp of the offense. Um, you know, he, he's played in big games. You know, whether that be in New England or Indianapolis, um, very efficient with the football last week. He took care of it. Um, He's got a strong arm. He's got, you know, he can move. He can scramble. So there, there's, he's able to run um, whatever um, they need him to do. Talk about the offensive line. They rebuilt it over the last couple of years to, namely, to protect Luck. But it seems like that uh, they, one of the top lines in the league over the over that period. Yeah, I mean, I protect whoever they want to protect. That they're good. So they can protect you, Teresa, me. That, that's what their job is. Are you going to have to find creative ways to combat that, I guess? Yeah, we'll have to play well. We'll have to stop the run. We'll have to put our hands on our chest and try to, you know, shed blocks and tackle and stay on our feet and set the edge, build a wall, swarm in a run game. Uh, and then when they throw it, we're going to have to try to wait, find ways to, to transition on play action. And, and when they drop back, we're going to have to rush them. What were some of the things they did with Marlon back last week to let him have such a big um, he, he created a lot on his own, and a lot of those were well blocked. And he broke some tackles. He's got really good speed. Um, you know, they covered up the guys from the Chargers, and um, he was able to, you know, get into the open field to the second level. They got him untouched into the second level a couple times, and um, you know, was able to make the post safety miss on that big long one. How does the team maintain consistency? I know that's something you've talked about during the course of the off season. How do you how do you do that where it is something that happens week in and week out? I think you have to stay focused uh, on what the next um, challenge is. Um, knowing that anything that we did last week um, in that game is not going to help us, and, and knowing whatever's ahead of us isn't going to help us concentrate or focus on this week. Uh, focus on who they have, their personnel, what they looked like against us last year, what they looked like in preseason, what they looked like against the Chargers. Try to get that figured out on first and second down. Uh, today and then continue to move forward with third down and red zone and um, you know start starting to have some all, our own consistency and in, in our all our phases of offense defense and special teams home think... that message a little bit more the, the message go ahead of... Kayla. he can go it's his birthday well man happy birthday <laughs> I'm gonna let Joan I'm gonna let Ben know you know what happens <laughs> make sure Ben knows that here do you, uh, do you uh, do you think you uh, hammer home that message a little bit more about forgetting last week, moving on after a big win? Do you tend to be a little tougher uh, on the guys after a big win than maybe coming off a loss? Um, you know, I think Lou Holtz used to tell Urban Meyer that you can coach them hard when you win and when you blow them out. Um, and then I'm sure that Urban told us that as coaches at Ohio State. So, you know, I think that there's some truth to that. I mean, it's just a – you know, remind them to stay focused and that this is a this is a long season. This is the next step and next week in that journey and uh, that process through the season that, you know, you're going to have some guys be available, not be available. This is going to happen. There's going to be a lot of things that happen throughout the course of the season uh, that we're going to have to stay focused on. So. How much do you, you think of the fast start 
will help this team just in terms of being at home, kind of having that high. Well, you know, I think that it's a double-edged sword. It's like, hey, let's start fast, but then if we don't, let's not, like, head over to Broadway. It's like we're going to have to fight through some things. I mean, we, we've kind of done it both ways. You know, I think we've started fast, um, and then there's been times where we didn't start fast, but, you know, we kind of kept with it and, and were able to, um, you know, win the game and do enough throughout the course of the game. So um, it, I, I'm always kind of leery about how much I'm like, hey, let's start fast, but then obviously if we don't, like we're not, you know, we're not sailing away here with, if we don't. So uh, it helps, but it, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't determine the outcome of the game. Biggest hey, issue for, for you guys on, on third downs, maybe this game, just getting behind the sticks too much on, on third downs, do you think? Well, going forward, I think that's something that's we're very conscious of is always being efficient on first and second. When we talk about one of the keys for, for our offense is, is being able to, to be better on third down and to keep those drives going. Um, and I think that the shorter those distances are, the easier it is to, to convert them. Do everything you can to win this game, but if you pointed out to the team that by winning this ball game it would put you two and zero, one and zero in the division, allow you to kind of play from ahead in the nope. division race. Nope, never came up in the thirty minutes that we talked this morning. What's your expectation for, for I guess, just the atmosphere after the week one win? You're retiring a couple of legends jerseys. What's just your expectation for for the opener? Um, you know, we're excited to be able to honor those guys. Those great players that that were here, uh, one I played with, one I played, and then both of them I played against. Um, you know, we, we, we want to put a, a really good product, a great product out on the field um, every time we play for those fans that travel for us and uh, the ones that, that, you know, that come to the games at home. So, um, you know, I would imagine that, you know, it would be a great crowd. It would be, you know, a, a really great crowd for us. And, um, but you know, th those things, we, we can't control those. We can only control how we prepare and, you know, and ultimately how we play. Rashawn Evans had a bunch of tackles on that opening drive Sunday. How important was his play early in letting the rest of the defense sort of settle in and do their jobs? Well, I think that, you know, admittedly, it wasn't one of his better games, but there's a lot of things that we can coach. But what, what I was so proud of was his effort, his willingness to, to run and chase and fly around uh, to the football. You know, there's a lot of little detail and, and technique things that we have to clean up. And, and we've talked about that. We talked about that during the game. We talked about it after the game. And um, but but what is really great to see is this: the effort down the field. You know, third and you know twenty, and guys are late in the game. Guys are flying um, from all over the place to to just swarm the football. What's the benefit to an offense and to a quarterback when you're able to get big chunk plays after the catch like you were last week? What's the benefit to an offense? I don't know why it would make any difference to the quarterback. I mean, I think the offense it helps the team change field position, change momentum. Um, never played quarterback, so I wouldn't be able to tell you what it would do for a quarterback. Uh, again, I think that it moves field position, changes field position. Um, when you can throw it at five or six yards and, and gain 40. Um, you know, I think that the completion percentage on those shorter passes certainly goes up, and then your return on it. Um, you know, tackling guys in this league is, is hard. I mean, some of these guys that are big, fast, physical athletes, you know, we've talked at it, about it already to this week. Mack, Hines, Hilton, obviously, Ebron being long, athletic, um, and so being able to tackle those guys in space and stay on your feet, um, whether they have a stiff arm, whether they have a spin, like a lot of guys have like a go-to move. So um, that's important for us defensively, and if we can start to create that on our side offensively, um, it will help the offense and in turn help the team. Pursue back just because you need extra depth and an indication maybe you like what you saw with him during, during camp. Is Grisou being back, is that the question? Right. Okay. Both of them. Just he wouldn't be here, I guess, if he didn't perform well in camp as well. Yeah, he did. He had a really good camp, and we're happy to have him back. And you know, just got some moving parts over there with the offensive line. Big deal for Cam Wake to be named Player of the Week, or is that something that just happens? Guys pay much attention to that. Well, we recognized him to the team this morning, and um, you know, Cam is a is a humble, hardworking player that um, 
you know, when those guys, you trust those guys that they, they'll do everything they can to get ready for the game. You know, there's, there's going to be times that, uh, you know, he's limited at practice, you know, just like you'll see today. He'll probably be listed as limited. Like, that's okay. Like, we, we, we'll, there's a plan to get him ready for the games to, to perform on Sunday. And so, um, you know, yeah, I think that that's a big deal. It was a, it was a really good performance. It helped us. Hard to do not when your practice reps are limited to go out and perform well. I, mean, I think it's hard to do that at 37. I'm sure yeah. that's hard to do at any age. But I mean, it's. Um, I, I think that the you know. I, I don't think so. I think that that would be a really good question for Cam to say. How do you, you know, handle, you know, getting ready for games. Kevin, you you were uh, hoping for an evaluation of him. Is Fanfield going to be able to practice today? Uh, I wouldn't expect Kevin out there today. Is, uh, is your rule of thumb after games usually 24 hours, win or lose, enjoy it, stew about it, and then move on after that? Um, I think it's gotten shorter, um, you know, especially after, you know, a win. But, you know, it's a tough league, man. you got to get ready for the next opponent. And, you know, it's, it's difficult. You know, I mean, it's difficult. You're, we're moving on as quickly as possible you know you, you don't want to gloss over the things that you need to get corrected that are going to show up if you don't get them fixed and, and cost you but you know we got to get moving on the next team and and that this week was the colts coach you got chunk plays from aj brown last sunday what did you see that you liked on film and what does he need to work on, on film? Uh, you know receivers can always block better uh, not get tired at the end of runs finish them Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hey, guys, I appreciate it.
Good morning or good afternoon. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I mean, they're flying all over the place. Um, you, know, you can tell they play with a lot of effort. Um, you know, they're punching at the ball. They're doing everything, all the little things. Um, they're really, I thought, I was impressed just by the, with the way that they came out and played with their effort. Um, so we know going into it, um, you know, we got to understand take care of the football um, and just just do, do what we do. I've got a lot of young guys that have been, with the team now, there's a lot of them going into their second year. Is that something that stands out on film? Do you notice the youth or inexperience when you're watching them? Uh, I wouldn't say that um, because it. I mean, just on tape, it seems like they're flying around. Um, seems like guys are in the right spot. Um, seems like they're coached very well. So um, that whole youth and inexperience, um, you don't really see it. Is this a, a good game anymore? Because I mean, Colts have had it, kind of had your number over the years. Is this a good a game as any to try and turn that around? Uh, you know, we're just focusing on one day at a time. Um, you know, we don't make it more than what it is. Uh, we understand that it is a division game um, at home. We just got to go out there and, and focus on taking care of our our deal, our our operation, and, um, you know, don't make it more than what it is. And Mike has praised Corey for his blocking on Sunday. I would ask if you maybe saw that, and then also how important it is to maybe get him more ball as far as catching uh, with catches in, in weeks to come. For sure. I mean, getting everybody involved is important. Um, you know, I think all those guys with the ball in their hand, they're very capable of uh, doing a lot of great things. Um, and then just what Corey does um, when he doesn't have the ball is, is very impressive, um, very unselfish. And um, I mean, you, you see it everywhere on tape, but specifically on Derek's long touchdown uh, catch, he, he was down the field blocking and, and really kind of sealed it. So, um, you know, just we have those types of guys in the locker room, and it's fun to play with those guys. What impresses you about what AJ is able to do after the catch? Uh, you, I mean, the first guy doesn't usually bring him down. Um, you know, I, I, I mean, he took a 10-yard play into making it 50. Um, you know, and I think not only not only AJ, but I feel like we have a bunch of guys that are capable of doing that. Um, so really, as as quarterbacks, it's on us to just distribute and let those guys make their make their hay. I know that's not something you can really game plan for yards after catch, but how much do you feel like this offense needs that to be able to be, to be able to be successful? I think it helps, no doubt. Um, when you're able to create explosives that way, um, change field positions, uh, get in the red zone, um, I just I think it's a huge huge benefit to your offense. What was your evaluation of the red of the red zone plays Sunday? It seemed like that when the defense gave you short field and. You guys were able to get in the red zone the first couple of times, didn't convert, but then after that, uh, you guys seemed to find find seven instead of the three. Yeah, you know, I, th I think we um, got to give credit to Art um, and really the guys, just sticking to the game plan. Um, you know, sometimes they're gonna the, the defense is gonna hold you, um, but our guys did a great job of just kind of rallying and making plays in the end when when we needed to. Uh, what's Mike Frabel like after a big win like that? Is he maybe a little bit hard run you guys during the week after a big win than he might be after a loss? Uh, honestly, Coach Vrabel is the same guy day in and day out. And for me as a player, I can appreciate that. You know, it doesn't matter whether we win or we lose, um, the same energy, the same um, tempo, everything, intensity, it's it's all the same. You were young when he played, but Steve McNair's had his jersey retired on Sunday. We were Remember about him? If you do, it wouldn't maybe heard about him since you've been with this organization. Yeah, I, again, um, you know, Steve really was somebody that played through pain, played through um, incredible amounts of, you know, just a lot of things. And I think on top of that, he was a great player as well. Um, you know, I, it's easy to sit there and, and when everything's going right. Um, to kind of be the face of the franchise. But he was the guy that, no matter what, um, kind of stuck, stuck through it. And, um, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. It's going to be an awesome deal for him on Sunday, um, you know, as well as Eddie. And so uh, it's a privilege to, um, to really just kind of know, know more about him and learn more about him as I've been here for the last few years. Um, and then alongside just getting to know Eddie, 
So, um, you know, it's well-deserved, and um, I think it's to be pretty cool for them. When you got here, did you ask about Steve, or did you just kind of hear these stories just from being in the building? Uh, uh, you, honestly, just being around the city. Um, you know, fans, uh, ever since I got here, made it a point to kind of just let me know who he was. And, um, you know, I think I can appreciate that. It just shows how much he meant to this team and to this city. And I think, again, Sunday for him is, is going to be really cool. Um, you know, I, I really don't try to think about all that because um, then you sit there and you try to compare, you know, what you've done to what he did and how he really handled himself. So I just I just focus on trying to be the best version of myself. How confident are you in, in Jack? You played with him for several years now, and, and he played outstanding on Sunday at one point. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And you know, I think he's battled through a few injuries, and he looks healthy. Um, but he's a guy, again, that can just be an anchor and, and do a lot of things for us and, and can really control the line of scrimmage. Mark, what was your reaction when you found out about Andrew Luck retiring? I mean, it was it pretty surprising from your end? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think everybody can kind of agree to that. Um, you know, when everybody found out, I feel like everyone was, was very kind of taken back. But, um, you know, I, he made a decision that's best for him and, um, you know, if he's at peace with it. That was such a great win for you guys. I can watch the, the broadcast copy, you know, get a pizza and sit and watch that. You ever that? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Why? Um, I, I kind of move on. I don't, I, I mean, honestly, I, I sit there and I watch our game tape, um, and then it's on to the next week. You probably talked about this before, but the significance of your number eight jersey, is that a uh, uh, flexing on the Hawaii? Uh, area code, or is there any story behind number eight? Honestly, it's as simple as this. I was five, six years old, and uh, my soccer coach threw me a jersey and had number eight on it. And ever since then, it's kind of just been my number. Cam Wake was staying at all sort of uh, the way he just caught on for being a rookie and for also missing the time that he did just in terms of learning the system, learning the play market, and kind of just getting on the same page as you? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And I, I his transition, I think, has been fairly clean. Um, and you got to give a lot of credit to Coach Rob and really the entire staff. I mean, they helped him out. And also on top of that, he's taking it upon himself to learn the playbook, to understand the little details. Um, and I, I think it kind of showed on Sunday. So uh, that's the expectation. That's something that we're going to continue to push him to uh, be. And you know, I think he'll be good for us. I know, I know everyone's kind of talked about consistency all off season. How, how do you? do that uh, during an NFL season where you'll have ups and downs? You just focus on one day at a time. Uh, you focus on this process, understand that everything outside of this building means nothing, and just try to improve. And when the, when the game comes on Sunday, just go out there and play. Did you ever get calls from Art on Sunday, some play calls where you're like, ah, this is going to work? Like the, the second touchdown to Delaney is wide open. Were some of those like you knew were going to work? Uh, I mean, we, we had talked about it, um, and for them, for us, how it opened up, um, it was awesome. And you got to give credit to uh, DJ and some of the other guys that created those, those open windows. Um, but Art, again, called such a great game. In the locker room video, I guess it was, uh, went out as a huge celebration when he got a game ball, people jumping around with him. Why do you think so much emotion came out there? I think Art um, means a lot to a lot of different people here. Uh, he's been in the building for quite some time, um, really worked his way up. Um, and for us, I think you can appreciate just how much he's put into it. And uh, it's always good to see someone rewarded for the things that they do. Sam Wake was named Defensive Player of the Week today. You aware of the last time he was Defensive Player of the Week? I am not. It was the time he played you in 2015. Remember <laughs> that game? <laughs> That's awesome. No, it's, I mean, great for him. Uh, it's well deserved. He played such a good game for us firsthand how difficult he can be, right? No doubt. No doubt. Thank you guys. Have a good day.